everyone welcome to Uman TV today we have an absolutely beautiful and multi talented guest with us she is Pradnya Raj Pathar Pradnya is into wardrobe makeovers looks designing bridal couture makeup and styling event management and also an aerial yoga trainer she has been working in an IT industry as a project manager as well and now into modeling too Wow. <laughs> Hi Pradnya, welcome on our show. Hey, thanks Shweta. Thank you so much. Most welcome. And I mean, this is a huge list. What you don't do? <laughs> <laughs> I am not there. <laughs> no, so, lot of things yet to achieve. This is just the beginning, I think so. So, that's great. I would love to know how did your journey really begin and from where? So, um I was just an ordinary girl like passed out from my school and then few because of my family thing i need i started working at the age of 15 you know and i started working in a boutique so i was managing a boutique and it was a beautiful fashion boutique you know yeah. so when i started seeing like uh, you know all of these customers are coming and i love to tell them that you know this is looking better and all then i got to know that you know um yes. i probably have that i i was not aware that i had that because at the time i wanted to be an air hostess frankly speaking so so that i can travel the world and things like that but then i started growing an interest in, in all of these things the colors what colors will look and what skin tone you know how someone can carry it out and things like the that styling I styling think. basically yes. and grooming and you know wardrobe maker was and all so i was like okay i can do that you know i'm liking it i'm loving it it's my passion so that's what made me you know that's great and uh, this is quite interesting looks designing what is that <laughs> uh so you know um many people say that you know what is image consulting or looks designing and all of this thing comes under that right uh so what happens is like if you're not keeping well uh, shweta tell me uh, if if you if you're not keeping well your ear is hurting would you go to a dentist no you won't right you will go to a yes. ent specialist yes. right it's something like that so a person is very good in academics right mm -hmm. but uh, when you go it's our human brain that uh, judges you or some uh, judges you basically in your first 30 seconds of your appearance right so that is very much important so someone who be very good in academics but uh, he lacks confidence or he or she lacks confidence so right. uh, basically it's about creating your image when you go in front of the world to face it and you know today's media the social media and everything they post pictures and everyone feel oh my god like you know i'm healthy or maybe i'm not appropriate for this or that and things like that so everyone needs to know that they're perfect is just that you need to design yourself and know what profession you are and you know as per the needs uh, yeah exactly so create your image uh, right. the way you are or what profession you are and that's very much important because you're judged in first 30 seconds even today right so yes. that's very much important so are there any challenges you face while styling people ah uh, yes of course they are not ready for a change so that's the biggest challenge you know um so when i say that you know wear this and see so they're not ready they're like no this doesn't look good on me this i i can't wear westerns or maybe i can't wear this it doesn't look good so until you don't try how would you know it looks good or it looks bad correct so this is a very basic challenge but once you overcome that and once you wear that fit into it and you are confident enough i think um then all those challenges were i face i feel happy that you know finally they have got into what they wanted and they like it okay. so there are many challenges but this is the basic one which uh, which really needs to be and on a personal level do you face any challenge on my personal level yes of course as i mentioned that i wanted to be an air hostess right so i have been through many interviews like say air india and you name and i've been to so many interviews and my first challenge was that you know for your height so oh you don't fit into a height criteria like you know we need a minimum of 52 or 53 whatever things like that so that's the criteria and you can't fit into it so i was like uh, that was the biggest challenge for me so after that i get into i got into modeling so i do print shoots and things like that so in that as well they need uh, they have a height and vital set is you know things yeah, like that it's yeah. not just the body shaming that people go through but uh, you know all of these small things also matter and that really made me stop what i wanted to do like i stopped going for air hostess interviews because i said that i'm going to hear the same answer yes. so why should i just go and you know get insulted by by hearing that not testing me with my caliber 
or the speaking, uh, the speaking skills and things like that. If you're just going to look at me and say that this is not possible, it's not going to work, right? It's not fair. Not at all. <laughs> of course not. So if if I I then so for a few years I didn't do that, you know, uh, even for modeling and things like that. But then I said, what's God's gifted? You can't change that. But what's human created? You can definitely change it, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I need to make a change. So and I think I thank uh, Sheetal. You know Sheetal, right? From Sheetal, Sheetal Creations. Yeah, of course. So um, I really thank. She's being my mentor. And uh, she has been like my mother, mentor, everything. And since then, she's given me an opportunity. I have walked her ramps. I have been a Femina Officially Gorgeous 2016 with a title holder with Sheetal Creations and Shivtara as well and things like that. So she gave me that confidence back that, you know, I can do it. And like that, many of them can do it. So oh, it's nice. just not with your height, it matters, yeah. And I think uh, if that was what Amir Khan and Alia Bhatt and Rani Mukherjee would have thought, they would have not reached here. So does anyone stop Alia Bhatt so to true. be so a showstopper? True. No one stops her, right? Yeah, so true. now I don't feel anything about it at all. Wow, <laughs> I love that. The way you've taken the whole experience. Yeah, it's and a hard way learned, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> And uh, coming towards the end, what's the inspiring message you would like to give across to all women watching you? Okay, so inspiring or not, I'm not sure. But I will definitely say um, that, uh, you know, today's world is filled with social media and it's all of show off and things like that. So people are running behind that and they fall into depression, uh, all the youngsters. What I will just say is that uh, forget about the fast lane, you know. Um, if you want to fly you know you need to harness your power towards your passion and you can do it so just don't look at the world that's it right isn't she inspiring so she was pradnya with us stay tuned for more powerful stories thank you from moment tv